Hello. In this video, I will explain how I understand PCA it is a principal component analysis and why PCA is useful for machine learning and what exactly PCA do for machine learning. Yes, so I think we can let's get starting. Let's get starting by making a definition uh, what PCA do. PCA do uh, two major things. Uh, the first one is uh, reducing dimensionality and the second one is the correlate features. The second topic on PCA is rotation because what PCA exactly do with the data is in making rotation. Why is rotation useful? PCA rotate the data so that there are no correlation between two dimensions. Let's call dimension Z1 and Z2. Now each dimension gives unique information. Knowing Z1 does not help me predict Z2 and therefore both may be useful in a machine learning model. In one direction Z1 there is a large spread, in other words is variance. In the other dimension Z2 there is a small variance. Variance is information. And why variance equal to information? High variance means a random variable can take a wide range of values with a high probability. Finding out the value of this random variable therefore gives a lot of information. Opposite scenario, very tiny variance or even zero variance is like measuring number 4 when it's the only possible value that variable can have tells me nothing. What does information have to do with PCA? Okay, let's organize Z so that the dimension with the highest information content are on the left, lowest information content on the right. Let's call the dimension height and weight for this example. Okay, and Z1 has more variance than Z2 and we can abstractly think that uh, Z1 dimension as size and the C2 dimension is any variation on the top of size. For example, tall person can be very skinny or a stout person is short and heavier. So what is advantages of sorting Z by information? In machine learning and signal processing, we can think of our data as signal plus noise. And measurements are not perfect. PCA allows us to separate signals and noise. Signal and noise by this example, let's assume that the largest variation is a signal, the smallest variation as a noise. Consider the Z matrix and we have the rule, keep only enough of the leftmost columns of Z to make up, for example, 95 or 90H or even 99 of the total original variance. This is a dimensionality reduction, so idea. We can use the reduced Z instead of full Z in future calculations. This will help us in future for machine learning model to make a prediction. Instead of having to learn over signal plus noise, it can just learn from signal. Another benefit is visualization. Simply keep only the first two or three dimensions that contain, uh, for example, 95 or 98 percent of the original information, but they contain uh, the most information possible. Another benefit is a speed. When we have less dimensions, we have only signal data. I mean, if you remove all noisy data, the calculation in machine learning or even deep learning models is getting much quicker, much faster. That's all in simple words what I'm thinking about PCA, why it's important to use it, where it can to be used and I hope that you will make your thoughts in the comments and we can discuss in next videos. So thank you for watching and see you on the next one. Bye bye.